Hey guys, Newbie here, and today I wanted to show you how to use your Game Pro to find a shiny starter in Pokemon Black and Pokemon White. And so, first of all, I'm just on the um, newbiesgamepro.com website, and I've jumped into the software area. Um, so this is where you can find all of the programs that are available. If we jump into uh, Gen 5, Black and White and Black and White uh, 2, um, you'll see... First of all, that I haven't done a lot of programs for these games yet, which is part of the reason why I was thinking of jumping into them and maybe de developing a few more programs. Um, so yeah, if you've got anything that you'd like to uh, see, make sure you leave a comment below. Um, but there is this shiny uh, starter software available, so you'll need to download this executable file. That's the main one that you need to run. Um, this one here is just the source code for it, so you don't need to download that unless you want to have a look at what's going on. Um, behind the scenes and then there's a readme file which I do recommend you uh, download with some instructions on how to uh, to run the program um, but yeah I've basically got all these downloaded already um, so the first thing I'll just show you in the readme file is some just some really basic uh, instructions on how to get things set up um, so one of the keys is make sure you've got your text speed um, set to fast um, and then also set your screen bright brightness to max um, so the reason for this is this software it uh, doesn't actually use the webcam at all, uh, it's relying entirely on the light sensor on the bottom screen um, so it needs to be able to detect changes in the brightness on the bottom screen um, and it's best able to do that when the brightness is set to, to max. Uh, so with that done, save a game with your character in, in front of the gift box like you can see where our character is currently standing. Um, put the LNR holders in at the back of the Game Pro um, and then you can run the software. Um, so we'll jump in and do that now, so we can do that just by double clicking this. Alright, I'll just try and make it so we can see both of these. Um, so, first thing is to enter the COM port number, so you can check where that is on your um, Arduino that you use for calibrating and stuff, it'll just be the same as whatever this COM port number is, which for me at the moment is 5. Uh, so I just need to enter number 5 here. Um, and then it's asked for this soft reset delay. The reason I leave this in here as a variable is, is I find some people's um, consoles will take a little bit longer to reset than others, depending, I guess, how many uh, other bits and pieces they've got on their uh, console. So default is 12,000, so I'm just going to enter that. Um, and then which star did you want? So we're going to try for a Snivy in this case, so we'll just enter G for the grass um, and then that will get underway by soft resetting. Um, so, and that 12,000 that we just entered is basically that's the, uh, the length of time between when it soft resets and it presses that first A that it just pressed right there. Um, so yeah, if you find it's pressing that A too early, then maybe you just need to um, extend the length of that uh, a little bit as well. But um, that seemed to be working fine for uh, me, so I'll just leave it as that at the moment. Sorry, that's just jumping out of focus. We'll try and keep that on focus there. All right, so that's done what we wanted to do and is pick the right starter. Unfortunately, with this one, there is a little bit of text and stuff to go through, and the encounter itself does take um, a reasonable amount of time. So, And the odds are um, not that great of finding the shiny, so I expect this to be a fairly, uh, fairly lengthy process. Um, but that's all right. So one of the things I will just point out, if you keep an eye on the bottom screen, so it goes dark, and then it comes to that um, screen with the kind of the Pokeball and you can see the light sensor sitting on top there. Um, and you'll notice as soon as our Snivy comes out, bang there, the screen goes into that menu and that's, there's actually a change in the level of light when that occurs. And you can see this text here was triggered by that cue. Um, and so it's recorded the amount of time that that encounter took. So this is a little bit over 22 seconds um, so basically what will happen is when the shiny animation occurs, it delays that menu from um, coming up and it takes a little bit longer for that brightness level to be uh, uh, realized by the light sensor. 
um, and then um, because of that extra delay it recognizes that the shiny has been found so um, yeah what we can do here is just press enter because that obviously wasn't a shiny I've left this check in here in case you do happen to find a shiny on the um, the very first try because if it was all automatic and that happened um, then it would just keep soft resetting and it would use the shiny as the baseline which is obviously not correct so I just need to press enter here um, and it will soft reset and now it'll keep cycling um, basically through over and over and keep soft resetting until it finds a delay limit that's longer than this number here so 22.6 seconds when it goes above that time limit uh, that's when it's detected the, the shiny and it will stop at that point so from here I'm just going to leave it running um, and then I'm just going to check on it periodically as I said I expect this could take a little while before we find the shiny um, but yeah we'll just see how we go as you can see we've had some success with the uh, shiny snivy on screen there um, unfortunately my computer stopped to install updates at uh, some point after it found the shiny but um, I can tell you that it took a little over 13,000 soft resets um, which the game pro was running non-stop for about two weeks um, so yeah reasonably long hunt um, and the um, time delay that the light sensor was looking for increased from um, about 22,000 milliseconds to 23 but over 23,000 milliseconds so the shiny encounter took a little bit more than uh, one second longer than the standard encounter, so that's how the uh, detection uh, was able to take place with the light sensor on the bottom screen. So, yeah, everything uh, worked according to plan. Um, so, which is good to know. So it means I can use the same principle to go on and uh, develop some more software, hopefully for the uh, the black and white games, which should be uh, cool. But um, yeah, that's it. Um, shiny data software for uh, black and white. If uh, you enjoyed the video, feel free to uh, give it a thumbs up. And until next time, see ya.